Oh, I, I got it, man. I mean, maybe a white boy, but I ain't stupid. So let's bring in Congress, Michigan Congressman John James. Thanks for joining us, Congressman. So um, what do you make of this whole uh, fight going on right now about funding for Secret Service? Well, uh, I think that uh, Senator Kennedy hit the nail right on the head. In Washington, when you don't do your job, you get money, and that's absolutely wrong. That's why people back home are absolutely incensed with the way things are going on around here. I'm a combat veteran. Uh, we made no excuses. We had no failed missions. But it seems like the motto of the Secret Service leadership these days is, oops, that's not good enough for the American people. We must demand better. We must demand answers. And, and even Cheadle, when we, when we brought her in to demand answers from the leader of the Secret Service, her response was nothing. It, it, it's very hard to get Marjorie Taylor Greene and, and AOC to agree. We got nothing from her, and then she resigned. This administration has never fired anybody for the myriad failures that they've had. And so now Congress has to demand answers, and we have to demand consequences from this administration. Just throwing money at a broken system is not going to fix the problem. Ten million illegal migrants at least coming into this country and two assassination attempts on President Trump and Alejandro Mayorkas still has a job. That's Washington for you, Congressman. Meantime, Kamala Harris was asked about the Secret Service today, and for once, she didn't make it all about her, herself, and her answer, although we can't say this is any better. Listen to this. Do you have full confidence in the Secret Service to protect all of you? I do. You, you feel safe for you and your family? I do. But, I mean, you can go back to Ohio. Not everybody has Secret Service. And... There are far too many people in our country right now who are not feeling safe. I mean, I look at Project 2025, and I look at, you know, like the don't say gay laws coming out of Florida. Members of the LGBTQ community don't feel safe right now. Um, immigrants or people with an immigrant background don't feel safe right now. Women don't feel safe right now. How many lies or allude, allusions to lies can she cram into one answer? Because just to start off, the 33 bomb threats in Springfield, Ohio, hoaxes coming from overseas largely. Hoaxes. Say it out loud with me, but continue, Congressman. All right, she, I mean, I don't know what it is, but I mean, to me, she always sounds like she's halfway through her second bottle of wine whenever she gets into an unscripted <laughs> interview. Yeah. I don't know what it is with uh, Chef Harris. I mean, that might be the answer for her word salads. It might be a part of the whole, uh, the whole thing she has going on. But the fact of the matter is the reason why we are a less safe country is because the failed border czar, Kamala Harris, has left us open borders for three and a half years. And oh, don't forget, she was a senator beforehand. She's had every opportunity to lower crime, to secure our borders, and to keep our nation safe, and she's failed. Every single excuse she's making, well, why does she take her tail on down to Congress and work with us to fix it? We sent a border security bill, H.R. 2, to Chuck Schumer. It's still sitting on his desk. We sent it to him last spring because the president and Kamala Harris told them to kill it, and we won't forget that. We won't forget the reason why the, there's violence increasing and innocent Americans are dying, and we won't forget why there are over 2 million illegals in our country, um, and that is her fault. Yeah, maybe she should take it up with whoever's in charge. Oh, that's right. It's her. Yeah, right. Uh, I, w I want to move to this. Uh, Democrats really, really don't want you to return to Washington. They've pumped one point four million dollars into ads against you. Um, you know, obviously, you're running against an environmentalist Democrat who says that the auto industry in Michigan is dead or dying. What's your response to that? Extreme environmentalist who's cozied up to the leftists who would absolutely crush the automotive industry. I mean, get this. This guy is running to be a representative from the 10th Congressional District, the 10th, uh, the number one manufacturing district in the entire nation, and he says that automotive is a dying industry. He said that. But you know what? I, I'm actually going to give him credit here. He'd be absolutely right if he takes charge. He'd be absolutely right if Kamala Harris is in charge of our economy moving forward. He wants to send our jobs to Mexico and China, and, and where uh, they're building their middle class on the backs of ours. These regulations uh, that they're putting on us would absolutely kill our industries. And yeah, they're going to give us uh, $100 million uh, to, uh, to, to help uh, throughout the country. They're not going to tell you that there's over $14 billion worth in fines with their harmful tailpipe regulations. 
And that's from NHTSA, uh, a government organization itself. Carl Marlinga and Kamala Harris absolutely want to crater the American automotive industry, and that is why both J.D. Vance and President Donald J. Trump are in Michigan right now. J.D. Vance is in Kent County out in West Michigan, and President Trump is up in Flint, because Michigan is the epicenter of the election universe this November, and they recognize it. Ballots are coming out in nine days. Nine days. And President Trump and J.D. Vance are not going to allow the opposition to run up the score. We are going to continue to vote, vote legally, and vote early. Go to 10x your vote and figure out if you and your friends are registered. We're going to do it like Democrats have done, and we're going to make sure that this is too big to rig. Congressman John James, thank you so much. The only thing that would kill the American auto industry are the tailpipe emissions regulations that are forcing Ford and General Motors and Stellantis to make electric vehicles that the American people don't want to buy and that lose maybe uh, forty, fifty thousand dollars per vehicle for these uh, these car companies. So look out. They're going 2,400 under. jobs to going to Mexico for my district right now. Yep. 2,400 jobs for my district going to Mexico in October. We have to stop Kamala. We have to stop Marlinga. Thank you, Congressman. Meantime, Democrats are on.